Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Now, off camera, I did work grind a little bit on my characters, and I learned a new overdrive with Titus once I figured out how to upgrade the his overdrives. Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson. Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jekt never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. All right. Now, if I remember this next fight coming up... There we go. Rides is you, Puff? All right, here we go. All aboard! <coughs> Here we go. Hey. Huh? Take a look. What? Whoa. A sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? Building a city on a bridge is not really sure defying laws of nature. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? I don't think the, a city on a bridge is an ultimate sin. Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides. Which Machina we may use, and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use, then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was Sin. So, Sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man. That's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. Exactly. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Ugh. What could that be? Sit down. Sorry! Whoop. Ah. The Albed! This is going to be fun.
Here we go. Let's see if I get lightning. Oh, nope. This is gonna hurt. You, you not can't you heal us? There we go. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. <sighs> ah, those out bed. Is everybody okay? I I'm sorry, we're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the out bed. What do they want from us? Did it have something to do with Luca? What are they after Yuna for? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Oh wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder, didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albeda behind that? Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Like, really, Waka? Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. All right. Yeah. 
I might as well equip my... There we go. Ah, here we go. Whoop. It's Riku. Uh. Uh. Huh? Uh. Ah. I was done for back there. Ah. Riku, you're Riku. Uh, hey, uh, you're okay. How you been? Terrible. Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w w wait, but you attacked us! Nuh-uh. It's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna? Lulu? I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, yeah? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. <laughs> Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Ah. Sir Oren, I would like Riku to be my guardian. Show me your face. Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. Yeah. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway, can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. right -o. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. All right. Now ah, I got all the party members. She's all the way over there. Well, if I'm that close, I could just let's open up a pathway. There we go. Whoop.
Whoop. Let's see. That's a new one. Here we go. What did you just do? That was great! I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. No! I F that up badly. You gotten any better? Just watch. I can't believe I messed that up. There we go. No time to waste. Let's go. Okay, let's not mess this up this time. Just in case. Ta -da! Hmm. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, uh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. 
business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, uh, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, uh, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, uh, I almost forgot. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's that old man. Care to hear about the far plane or the fireflies? <clears throat> the far plane's the place where fireflies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Ahem. They may be called Pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the fireflies doing. In fact, fireflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Sir Guardian, it seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. All right, let's see. Aha! I missed that book, but... Nice! Alright. Whoop. Is there anything here? Fly saw stairs. Oh well. Ah, 
Aha. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? I know. He seems a bit evil. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Stay close to Yuna. I wonder what smells so nice. Evil. Why does he want to see me? For his evil plan. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Uh, shh. This way, please. Go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing, then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. Are you sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. Kimari speak no more. You just did. Mm, this is good. What could it be? Oh. To have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. To show you my evil plan. 
And when I mention that, I'm an evil person. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. It's Santa again. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand. As it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. Hmm. She who? Hello. Lady Unaleska. She was the first person to defeat sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Oh. And he's saying something. Your face is beat red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna... No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their part. For my evil plan. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, 
I await your favorable reply. To initiate my evil plan. Yeah, I'm gonna be saying that a lot with Seymour around. I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. <laughs> like, knock it off. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado. Married in the name of Yevon. Overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way! We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. Oh? Are you serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this. But how do you feel, I though? I answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. <gasps> I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <sighs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Let's see. Oh, look at that. And that's the far place. What else is around here? Hmm. Okay, so there's not much else to explore. Now oh, look at that. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. Oh. You thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Hmm. 
I wonder. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. All right. What the? Hmm. Whoa. There's a big nothing. I got my last comment. The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, ah, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. Hmm. What did that do? Cause that's what I was wondering about, cause... Whoa! That's a massive upgrade! Just a sec more. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> What? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but don't be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me with Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough, not even close. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life.
So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Oh. Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. That's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a sec, sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Uh oh Lord Jisco! Oh, Lord Jisco! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Lord Jisco! He is Lord Jisco no more. Send him now. <laughs> and he drops something. Talk later. We leave now. Uh, 
What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? He wasn't sent, so he became a fiend, right? <laughs> I would think that he was sent once. But he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Here we go. I will go. Meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna. Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Hmm. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was going to happen, yeah? Huh? We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was going to happen, yeah? Huh? When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? How do I progress? Oh, there we go. My, was the lady summoner not with you? No, she's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! Okay, there we go. Lord Jiskel, please tell me. What can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! It's like, look at the sphere you got.
They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? <laughs> what I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. All right. Now we can finally progress. Yeah, oh, man, we definitely come a long way. supposed to cross that see the lightning rod towers the lightning is drawn to them hopefully we head north not too near and not too far from the towers yeah meaning we should avoid wide open areas <gasps> I think I forgot something in Guado Salam nice knowing you okay okay I'll go okay Whoop. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Now, there's another way to get a visual here for one of the celestial weapons. It's to dodge lightning 200 times, which I've never done before. Ow! Gonna have to get used to that. Uh oh! That's not good. Go with the flow. Here we go. There we go. Oh, come on! I just got that! Why can't you move over there?
Let's see. Can I please have a look? Ah, Mother Humbug. Let's see. I'm gonna get the hang of this. Let's get this right. Maybe it's like a slow pattern. Okay, that's one. And that we said it. Oh, jeez. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, for now, I'll just focus with these guys. Whoops. be a gimmick or a trick. What's this? Ow! There we go.
Whoops. Skill. to hear about this place? Very well. Let me tell you about the crossing. A long time ago, this place was a traveler's nightmare. Plains of lightning, plains of thunder. Those who cross are torn asunder. Or so they used to say. Then a man by the name of Bilgen appeared. Using Machina, he built tires that served as lightning rods across the plains. Finally, travelers were able to cross in safety. Bilgen was building that tower over there. When he was struck and killed by lightning. Oh. All right, Riku, you're the only one that can throw items. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Might as well level up Riku, because she definitely needs that. Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. 
Yuna's gonna turn him down. Oh, really? I see. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira. Oh. Uh oh, everyone's attacking me. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh boy. Well, maybe it's not that kind of reflect I was thinking about. Oh well, time to use slice and dice. And ended.
Let's see why I steal. Again with that! Uh-oh. What's the pattern? No problem. Well, at least I got a chocobo feather. There we go. Really? Go. 
Well, it's a cactus, so it should burn. Maybe not. Seeker. Not what I thought. Come on! Almost made a mistake. one <laughs> stop kidding around yes ma'am <laughs> mm, what's wrong <laughs> feel lightning <laughs> you're giving me the creeps stops better to cross quickly I know but just for a little while <laughs> well what now uh. Hi. just a few minutes I'm scared of lightning 
Let's rest, please. Pretty please. I'm too young to die. <laughs> Summoner, yes, just over that way. Thank you. Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. Hmm. It's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. You not resting. Go away. Really? Are you that scared? <laughs> when I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. Can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. Ah! Hmm. Maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jisco? I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. How goes your study of our language? That is good to hear. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. There we go. All right. I wonder. Would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Sir Orin! I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes. I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. All right. Nothing really. I I just uh, um uh, awkward. Uh, uh, I, I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, 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 hey, wasn't that that just uh, called Guado guy? This 
sphere is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son, Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. When yeah, she's ready, so hold uh, oh, uh, your chocobos uh, till then. Yeah. Uh, 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 all right, all right, all right. Meh. <laughs> Alright, well, I know it's a little bit earlier than I normally do, but I'm going to end the episode here because I want to try to get that visual. And I doubt everyone wants to see, like, a, the next 30 minutes of me trying to do that. So, once I do that, then, you know, I'll pick it up from there. So, in any case, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've been enjoying as much as I have. And as always, leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update. Share us on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all those social medias. And don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.